Hello everybody, this is Electronic Warfare Studios. I'm Obsolete, I'm here with Paco, Eagle-Eyed, and Chief Naka. We're here to do a little bit of a review discussion for Renegade Ops. It's a downloadable title on the PSN and Xbox Live for $15. So we're going to talk a little bit about our likes for the games and also the dislikes. But uh, first we'll start with the likes for the games. Yeah, and, um, first of all, I think the, the thing that caught my attention were the graphics. Uh, I thought the textures were... Uh, they were pretty sweet looking, I must admit. I wasn't expecting too much because it is a PSN title. It was only 15 bucks, but uh, the textures were really nice. Uh, the effects, like the smoke and the dust, the explosions and the fire that you see. The fire is really nice. But uh, it all looked, it all looked uh, pretty real, you know, for a top-down shooter. Um, like I said, I think the textures to me were like, you know, the trees and the rocks and everything, like little details like that. And, really caught my attention and like even like uh, when I, when you're driving your little buggy or whatever car you got I know they got different cars but you know when you would hit a bump your car would seem like it's hitting a bump so yeah a little detail like that um it was pretty nice yeah and another thing on the graphics just real quick be like it has cutscenes in the game and those are kind of done by like sort of like a motion comic that we've seen on some other full retail release games and those are actually done pretty well I thought so that was another nice little touch like with the with the game as well yeah, the um, next thing that I probably want to discuss, um, this destruction and environmental destruction, um, probably one of my more favorite parts of the game, uh, just in terms of driving through the buildings and everything like that. Um, when you drive through the buildings, everything kind of, everything comes down, and of course, you know, you blow up uh, various, various items in the game. You get the, uh, as they were mentioning before, explosions and things like that, um, the driving and shooting uh, was pretty was pretty fun. I mean, overall, because you're, uh, I don't know if you're like me. I just sit there and just run on the right stick, just shooting at, shooting in all directions. So it was a uh, definitely definitely the one of the more fun aspects of the game. So yeah, I mean, we're talking about like driving and shooting. Uh, the controls are also pretty easy and intuitive to use. This is basically a twin stick shooter, so it has those things as well. But you are driving, so. But it's very simple to drive around and actually shoot at the same time. It's very easy to, to maneuver around the game and, and its environments. There are some times where it gets a little tricky in some areas. Um, maybe we can talk about that a little later in the dislikes. But uh, for the most part, though, the game control is really easy. And it's easy to you know get a target on enemies and things like that. You never really feel cheated uh, a lot when you're playing through the game and you know get yourself in sticky situations. You know, even, even better than controlling the, uh, the buggies and the jeeps is whenever you get to... Unlock the chopper. That's <laughs> one of my favorite parts. And you know, because you, terrain's not really an issue anymore. You can fly over anything. You don't have yeah. to drive around trees, rocks, and every, you know, all that stuff. So I really enjoy that. And uh, you know, it's it has the same exact feel as the buggy. So you don't have to learn for a new vehicle. For sure. So I really like that. And uh, you know, having those uh, different characters, and whenever you have four-person uh, co-op. And you have every person with a different character. They all have skills and benefits. Um, like uh, one uh, one of the girls has an EMP that knocks out all the enemies. Yeah. Everyone has a, a, a heavy machine gun that hits pretty hard. <clears throat> so, you know, you got all kinds of uh, uh, skills that you can take advantage of in, in several different parts of the game. Yeah, I definitely got to say co-op is a blast. Like, I mean... Um, I tried playing the game by myself, and it was it was okay. But having the four people or three people, how many, however many you have online, I mean that that's where the fun's at to me. Um, just seeing everybody running around the screen, blowing up crap, shooting stuff. Um, you know that 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 to me was the most fun. I mean, it, and even with four people, it was uh, you know still pretty uh, still pretty uh, competitive, and there was a nice yeah. challenge there. Yeah, it definitely had a good challenge to the game, uh, even then. There were some boss fights that were a little easy, uh, but for the most part, the game had a decent amount of challenge to it, and everybody, I think, died at least a few times. <laughs> um, so so that's what we kind of like about the game. There's quite a bit to like about the game, like graphically and how the game plays, actually. Um, but as far as like dislikes for the game, uh, right out the gate for me, I know, Eric Eagle, you mentioned uh, you know, the chopper, having the chopper, and have, those missions are really cool when you actually do get the choppers. However, there's really not enough of it, and you only get the choppers when you find a crate laying out in the middle of nowhere, it seems like, and you have to go find it, and then if you're playing with four people online, not everybody would get the chopper at the same time, which yeah, kind of annoyed me as well, so <clears throat> everybody's fighting for that one little stupid chopper, 
So I think there's just kind of a missed opportunity overall with the game on creating, uh, there's nine missions in the game overall. It, it could have had some really it missed opportunities there for, for creating uh, some chopper mission. In a the lot game. more variety. Yeah, just some variety to mix it up a little bit. Have like a mission like midway through be a chopper mission. It would have even been cool to see like a, a, a an ocean mission with like boats or something like that. Um, so that's just one of the things I kind of disliked about the game. Didn't have enough variety for me. I would have liked to see more chopper action and things like that. And one thing, one thing that I'm not a huge fan of was um, the voice acting in it. Uh, there were a ton of cheesy lines. Something reminiscent of a Jason Statham flick. That's why they sent me. Any last words before I send you to your deaths? Hey, bitch! How's that for a punchline? Um, yeah, I, mean, it, I mean, it's pretty bad. Um, there are some, there are some, there are some really cool one-liners in there, but outside of that, I mean, it's pretty bad. Yeah, definitely. Um, while we're on the dislikes, I'd have to say that again, touching on the whole, uh, you know, play with friends. Uh, <clears throat> like I said earlier, you know, I've tried playing it by myself. Nowhere near as fun. Um, not only, I mean, it is a little harder just because you don't have that extra firepower, but. I don't know, there's just something about shooting crap up with your friends that, that's just so much more fun when you got, you know, three or four of them playing with you. Um, another thing I kind of noticed were the mics. Um, not all of us experienced this, but I know, like, me and Obsolete, we kind of experienced the mics going on, uh, out on us, and at one point it was only us that could hear each other. Uh, I don't, I'm not too sure what happened there, but... <clears throat> and it wasn't the whole entire time, you know, it was just a random thing yeah. that happened, so I'm not too sure what was going on. And, I don't know if it was just a one-time deal or not, but that was something I kind of noticed. And when you're trying to play something co-op, I mean, you know, the mics are really good to have. So, yeah. One of the things that that irritated me the most was uh, whenever you would get done with a mission, and you would be going into your loading screen to uh, your to your <laughs> unlock tree. Everybody but the host would have a black screen, and they would be locked up, and they would have to restart their PS3. And uh, that's definitely a momentum killer, and uh, not makes you not really want to uh, to put the game back on. Yeah. You know, so I mean, it seems like the host. Uh, I mean, it's got to have a real good connection. I don't know if it was just something we were experiencing, or if it's. It could have been me. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't. It could be. It could be just something where the game's not not a hundred percent secure. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, like that one mission uh, where we needed the key card to cross the bridge. You know the one I'm talking about. <laughs> and like I had the key card, but you guys got across the bridge, and on my screen it showed the bridge still up, and I couldn't even get to you. And then you and I not, not to other. mention, yeah, not to mention, I couldn't see him. He couldn't see me, but Scorp could see both of us at the same time. He's the freaking ghost whisperer. Dude. Yeah, that was that was funny. But I think that the most annoying thing for me was uh, speaking of the black screen glitch. I had to restart my PS3. Actually, I'm sorry. I just quit the game and logged back in. When I came back, all my upgrades were gone. And I mean all of them. I had almost over half of all the upgrades a lot. So it pretty much started me from scratch. I'm not exactly sure why it happened because <laughs> I've had to log out before and it didn't do that. This one time took all my upgrades and they never came back. So I pretty much started from scratch in the middle of the game, that's which is quite annoying. So That's the best inferno of cognitive <clears throat> breaking. <laughs> yeah, really. Speaking of Inferno, when we got to him at the very end, me and Eagle were the only ones alive, and he gives his little one-liner, whatever the crap he says, I can't even remember. All of a sudden, when we get to start playing, we shoot at a chopper, and then boom, we're dead. We still have like two lives it left. Says, it actually says game over. It, it said game over. over. You failed to kill Inferno. I was like, what just happened? Like, what the got shot at. F? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Something, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It was just stupid because not only did it do that, we had to start all over on that chapter from the beginning. So those those two things yeah, drove me nuts, and a, I wanted to throw my controller. That's control a 14-minute mission <laughs> to get to that 20 seconds in box. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, you know, all together, we, all together we played 28 minutes to, to uh, fail. <laughs> <laughs> the very end. And then start all over again. A fifteen dollar title on the <laughs> to download. So what do you think? Would you buy it? Would you skip it? What would you recommend to people? For me, I would say it's really hard for me. It's kind of right there in the middle. But I would have to say uh, I I would recommend it only if you had friends to play it online with. 
Sounds like it hurts to say that. I know. <laughs> it really does. So many things are done well about the game, like get the graphics and stuff like that. And it is pretty easy to control, and there's a lot of stuff going on at one time. But there are a lot of so many shortcomings, especially when it comes to like variety and the glitches and stuff like that. But if you have friends to play it online with, and they really enjoy these type of things. I would say go for it. Yeah. And um, th you know, just echoing the statements. I mean, when it works, it's great. When it doesn't, it's not fun at all. <laughs> um, I mean, for me, I it's not. It's one of those games I probably wouldn't hold my attention too long. Um, overall, I mean, after. Uh, especially even even playing with even playing with friends, I mean, just for me, like the controllers were a little little off. But I mean, outside of that, it's I mean, it's it is a fun game just in terms of if you enjoy destruction and driving around. It's a pretty it's a it's a nifty concept for sure. I think that if it were to price drop to ten bucks, that it would be yeah be dead on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I would say ten dollars makes sense. The fifteen dollars is kind of where the weird thing to me, or the it's a weird price point for me for this game. It's a hard right. hard sale. Mm. All right, so <clears throat> well, that's us. That's uh, Electronic Warfare Studios giving us a little bit of a review. Hopefully, it helps your decision whether or not you want to buy this game. Uh, you can subscribe to us on our YouTube channel so you can keep up with our, our new videos we'll be coming out with with uh, Battlefield 3 and so forth coming out. Also, you can follow us at Twitter at E Warfare Studios. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Later.